Welcome to Draw Together, the class where dogs draw with kids. It's so fun. I'm just kidding. She doesn't draw. Go, Suso. Go in your bed. I'm Wendy Mack. That was Suso. She'll return in a moment. We're here with art assistant Caroline. Say hi, Caroline. She's so shy. Maybe someday she'll come say hi, but... And you. What's your name? so happy to see you and we are here to draw together let's see where do I see all of you out there I see somebody in Calgary Canada Santa Domingo in the Dominican Republic Cincinnati Ohio Honolulu Hawaii USA and Puebla Mexico all over the world we are all over the world but now we are here ready to draw. So let's do this. I have to tell you though, so this is not the first time we've we've been here. Just a little bit before, we tried to do this mistake show, this show that we're doing all about mistakes, and it was gonna be a really big fun special show, and we had so much expectations. In fact, you know what, hold on. Let's just take a look and you can see what we did before. Oh, uh, what? I thought we had the day off? No? Uh Let's put our drawing smocks on. These are pants. What is go? What? There's a plant. I'm Wendy Mack. I'm here with art assistant Caroline. And Suso. Yeah. Well, that was a mistake. We made a mistake. That was not the right thing to do. It did not work out like we planned. So what did we do when we made a mistake? Well, we did one of the things that we can do. We just curled it up in a ball, crumpled it, and threw it away and started over. And here we are now, ready to draw. So let's do it. Like, let's get to the drawing. Yes? All right, let's shake off the mistake. Shake the hands. Shake the shoulders of the, what are these called? Wings, <laughs> the shoulders, the head, the eyes. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Ready? And let's go to the request line. Request line. I'm Wendy. My name's Wild and I draw a tub. Well, Wild in California, yes, I do think we can draw a tugboat. Heck yeah, come on over here. And let's draw. What are we gonna need? So I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. You might wanna do that too, we call it landscape. And we're going to draw a tugboat. So grab your pen or maybe a pencil or some color and let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is make the front of the tugboat. Let's do this together. I'm gonna make one curvy line comes down like that. That's the front of our tugboat. Now I'm going to make another line that goes up a little bit like that. So we're gonna look at our tugboat kind of at an angle. We're introducing something pretty sophisticated here called perspective. I'll explain more in a moment. Take your pen here, and now we're gonna make the big swoopy line that goes all the way down along the side of the boat. Swoop. Boom, and up a little bit at the end. Cool, how's that? Kind of looks a little bit like a banana. It's the closest thing we'll ever draw in this class to a banana, because y'all know I'm not a fan. So now we'll bring the line down here. Boop, that's it. That's our boat, my friends. Let's 
put some water along the bottom just to give this boat a home. It's relaxing to draw water, isn't it? To draw waves like this. Let's do one more underneath, just because it's really relaxing. It's like a good little drawing exercise. Yeah, you can keep doing that if that feels good. I'm gonna go back to the tugboat. So this tugboat, this is the tippy tippy point, the front end of the tugboat. We're kind of seeing the side of it a little bit here. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes from the tippy top point down into the water. Check it out. What? See how this is one side of the tugboat and this is the other side? You can kind of see it. It's kind of like the tugboat's coming out this direction, like at you like this. Good job. That's called perspective. We'll learn that little bit by little bit. All right, now here's the boat part. Let's put the part where we, or the people, are actually hanging out in the boat. So I'm going to put a big old rectangle shape here and stop there. I'm going to bring it down, go halfway, then I'm going to go out a little more, and go down. Doop. Ha! Check that out. Pretty cool. Let's put another little rectangle on top here. I'm going to round the edges so it looks nice. That's a place maybe where they can go stand. A little higher. Yeah. There's our basic shape of our tugboat. You're doing so good. Now let's put some squares, some windows, so when people are inside, and the tugboat is going to help other big boats, you can see out the window. Now you just keep on going. Your tugboat can look however you want it to look. The way I'm drawing is just one of a bazillion ways to draw a tugboat. What matters is that you are having fun drawing yours. There's no right or wrong way to draw a tugboat. Can't wait to see what your special tugboat looks like. I'm gonna put some lights on the top here. I think that'll look neat. Yeah, like if they're driving around at night and they wanna go like put a little siren on or something, let people know they're coming to help. Cool. Tugboats work super hard as do the people inside who make it go. So I'm gonna draw maybe some people in here. I just always like drawing a couple people inside of our ships or our cars or anything like that. Circle, triangle. Yeah. You put some maybe put a hat. Tugboat hat. All right, good job. Let's see. Can we check in real fast? How's yours going? We're moving pretty fast. There's some, you know. Complex lines there, but let me just see. Whoa, some of you are already moving ahead. It looks so good. It, you're working so hard. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep going. Okay. I'm gonna put a door here. And let's start putting some circles in here because it's pretty fun. Maybe there's a circle here. Maybe it's like some fun windows. Where else do we see circles on the outside of a tugboat? Has anybody ever noticed this on a tugboat? That there's these big giant circles. What are these? Yes, they're giant donuts. That's correct. No, they're not. Because everybody would eat them if they were, or I would at least. No, they're tires. They're old tires. People put tires on the outside of tugboats so that when a tugboat goes to help a big giant boat, sometimes like so much bigger than this boat, these tires make sure that the tugboat doesn't smash into the side of the boat. If it does, it bounces right off and the tugboat doesn't get hurt and the big boat doesn't get hurt. I'm going to do something fun with these. I'm going to, instead of painting them in, I'm going to color them in just with some whoosh, 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 fast, fast spirals going out. You want to do that with me? It's fun. Ready? Go. It's a fun way to color. Get out some energy. Definitely make sound effects. Woo! Wrist is really 
Next time it'll warm up a little bit more. Whoosh. You know, these little tugboats also help out big, big boats when they've made a mistake. If a boat gets stuck, maybe you heard about that big giant boat that got stuck in the Suez Canal and it didn't come out for many, many, many days. Guess who helped get it out? That's right, a fleet of tiny tugboats. So that was a mistake when that big boat got stuck there. So how'd they handle that? Well, they fixed it. The tugboats came, helped it get out. Sometimes when we make a mistake, we can fix it. All right, what do you think? Should we paint? Shall we paint? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna get some paints. Maybe you have some colored pencils or some crayons. If you don't and you just have your, um, your pen or your pencil, that is awesome too. You can totally do that. I am gonna make my tugboat red and black. I think that will look pretty cool. How about you? What color are you gonna make yours? What color do you want your super cool, strong, hard-working tugboat to be? Mm, it's gonna look so fun. Hmm. Now this is tricky sometimes with the with the colors uh, to get them in inside the lines. I'm going inside the lines for this. You might want to go outside. You might want to scribble, um, but I'm gonna keep mine inside the lines here. And if I go outside, that's all right too. But I'm just using a little bit of water and a little bit of paint and filling it in. And I'll do the same with some here. Make this red up here. How about you? Is yours going to be all kind of one color or maybe a couple different colors like mine? Or I wonder what everybody else is going to do. Everybody's going to do their own thing. Even if we're doing the same thing, Yours is gonna be red and black too. It's gonna to be red and black, but it's gonna be yours. It's gonna turn out different. Why? Because we are all different and we are all special. And we all bring our own way of doing things to whatever we do. And so whenever we draw, what we make ends up being something that only you can make. Only you can make that tugboat like that. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it so awesome. Okay. And I think I'm gonna make the top of it black up here. There we go. And I'm gonna make the bottom black down here. Uh-oh. I botched. I botched. See that? That was a mistake. With watercolors, a lot of times when we when one bit of the water in one color touches another bit, it kind of sucks the water in. Oh, it just happened again. <laughs> so I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. How about you? Huh. I guess that's another thing that we can do when we make a mistake is just be like, huh, all right. Didn't mean to do that, but... Why not? Turned out okay. I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. So that's something we can always do is roll with it. All right, quick check-in. Let me just see before we go into the water. How's yours going? Good? Yeah? Wow, check out all the colors of tugboats I see out there. So great, all of your shapes. So fun. Come on, color a little bit more. I can't wait to do a show with all of you. Let's do some water. Glub, 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 glub. Okay, it happened again. Oh, honestly, that one? Hmm. I'm not loving that so much. So I wonder if I can just put a little bit different blue in there. If I can fix it. I'll try and fix it. Oh yeah, that actually works out okay. So it didn't work. I mean, it did work. I fixed it, that worked. So when I did it, when I first put that watercolor down, it kind of didn't turn out the way I wanted. But then I did it over and I fixed it. Cool. So another thing we can do if we make a mistake is we can just do it over. Try again. Fix it. No big deal. Make a weird line. You don't like it? Erase it. Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little more water. And, oh, wait a second, hold on. We I hear a noise. Do you hear that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like a phone, but we've never gotten a call before. Do you, I, mean, I don't know, do you think it, maybe it works. Maybe, it, okay, we're gonna try it, let's see. Hello? Uh, oh my gosh! It's everybody's favorite chef, Samin Nosrat. Oh my gosh. Hi, Wendy, I'm just calling to check in. I wanted to know how you were doing. And so did Fava. What's going on today? <laughs> Hi, Samin and Fava. Uh, we're drawing tugboats. We're painting them too. And we're talking a lot about mistakes. Have you ever made a mistake in the kitchen? Oh, I've made so, so many mistakes. Wait, can I tell you one of my favorite kitchen mistake stories? Yes, please. I was actually kind of sad on the day it happened, but looking back, it's it's kind of one of my favorite stories. It happened a really long time ago. It was actually the second day I was ever in a restaurant kitchen. On my first day, I learned how to cut an onion. The chef taught me how to cut, cut an onion. And so one week later, I came back and the chef said, do you remember how I taught you how to cut an onion? And I said, yes. And he said, okay, here's 100 onions. <laughs> Can you believe it? A hundred onions. <laughs> Can you cut them just like I taught you last week? And I said, yes, I promise I'll do it exactly how you showed me. So he left me in the corner to do my job. And then he came back and I was so proud to show him how I had done it. And when he looked at my work, he said, you did it the wrong way. You cut them the wrong direction. And I was so embarrassed and so disappointed. And I felt really, really bad. It felt like I had a rock in the pit of my stomach and my heart hurt. And I was really embarrassed in front of the other cooks because I just wanted to show everyone that I was trying really hard. In the end, he said, it's okay. We'll figure out a different recipe to make. We won't make the thing we were gonna make. We'll just make onion soup. And so he taught me how to make onion soup. And I have to say, it's still one of my favorite recipes 20 years later. And every time I make onion soup, I think of that mistake. That's such a great story. There are a lot of things that happen in the kitchen that start with a mistake, but mistakes a lot of times sort of are kind of like a spark for creativity, I think because it sort of takes you somewhere where you didn't expect to go. Yeah, it seems like there's some similarities between the kitchen and the art studio. A place where you want to create things, and maybe we have an idea of what we want to draw or what we want to cook, but then it can take on a whole new life of its own, and sometimes it ends up even better than when we first what we first imagined. Okay. Absolutely. What were you cooking when you called us, Samin? Oh, I was just making some fried eggs for lunch. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. Can we see? Oh yeah. You wanna see? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Fava? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I think we lost connection. That was a mistake. Okay, hey. <laughs> This show's been filled with mistakes. My gosh, okay. I'm just gonna put a couple little last touches on this drawing here. If you wanna make it your own, just do a few last little things to make it special. We have had a lot of mistakes happen from the very beginning. This whole show, we crumpled the first one up and we threw it out and here we are. We started a whole new one. Mistake number two, some stuff happened in the water here, didn't like it, you know what? Fix it, right? When we make a mistake, we can always just fix it. And sometimes when you make an errant line that kind of goes off in a weird direction you weren't expecting, or maybe something happens and you're like, what do I do with that? Well, you can always just turn it into French onion soup. <laughs> Mistakes, they happen to all of us all the time. No big deal. All right, ready? Should we do a show? I cannot wait to see y'all tugboat. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, go show. 
Look at that hard working tugboat that you worked so hard on. It's so wonderful, all those colors you used, your lines and your shapes. I can tell that you made a mistake or two in there and then just kind of rolled with it. And I see some of you fixed your mistake there. And a couple you started over, kept on going. Good job. So proud of you. All right. Well, let's see. One last thing. Pencils up, friends. Shall we say this together? Come on, say it with me. Okay. One, two, three. Everything is, everything is better. <laughs> everything is better when we draw together. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Did you notice that some of the things in the studio were a little bit out of place in the show? Mm -hmm. It's the Big Mistake Show. Why don't you rewind and see if you can count all of the things that we put out of place?